Hey YouTube, what's going on? YouTube chat. Say what's good to the Twitch chat. Twitch chat, say what's good to the YouTube chat. Let me go ahead and move my sponsorship at the moment because they are sponsoring the stream, but not the video. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're gonna go ahead and watch and react this uh Nickelodeon All-Star 2 or uh, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 official SpongeBob gameplay overview trailer. Overview trailer. Now, um, I played the first one. I actually still had the first one. I actually still like the first one a little bit. Uh so the fact that they're making a, a second one's gonna be dope. Hopefully it does better than the first one, didn't doesn't die off immediately. Let's see what we get into. Armed with fearsome karate capabilities, bubble blowing expertise, and his trusty hydrodynamic spatula with port Damn. and starboard attachments, SpongeBob has all the tools you'll need to thrive all right. in Nickelodeon Up all air, up air, two. ooh. SpongeBob is an all rounder type character with a straightforward moveset perfect for beginners. He slapped the shit out of April. Players who just like to make the most out of simple tools. His light up and down attacks are great for launching and juggling opponents until it's time to start Oop. using his aerials. Oop. Most noteworthy of his aerials are his up air, which has a wide arc and pops opponents upwards, and his forward air, which has a powerful spiking sweet spot. Oh, there's no way that mo hold on, 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 hold on. As somebody who's played a metric ton of Smash Bros, that smash, the down smash ability, the spike ability, it's clutch. The fact that he breaks out a big ass hand, bro, he breaks out. I ain't even got nothing. To, actually, I do. He breaks out one of these, bro. He breaks off one of these, bro. And down smashes you. Oh, hell yeah. All right, SpongeBob might be him for real. But I wonder what, what more characters are going to add to the second one. Considering that this is the second game, they're going to need to really expand the, the character selection. Because the first one had a, oh, not an okay amount. And they started adding more and more, although you had to pay for them. Um, they need to come out the gate with at least like 10 to 15 characters. At least. We're talking about Nickelodeon here. They got like hundreds. I'm going to report your ass off stage. Once I'm you're not. ready to end your combo, I spun about I swear we're bitch ass. Great choices at high percents. Yeah. On the subject of yeah. charge attacks, it's quickly worth mentioning that every character has three on the ground. Beach. And three in the air. SpongeBob has relatively short range and isn't the fastest character by any means, so he mostly has to rely on his neutral special, Bubble Blow, to take control of the stage and find an opening. His side special okay, so he has a range attack. attack. Can also be a solid approach option thanks to its surprising speed and an ability to absorb a small amount of damage before getting knocked out of the attack. So I would imagine that the light attacks you could charge through them joints, but the, the actual heavy hitter joints you cannot charge. You can you cannot uh. Pull up without taking damage. All right. Personally, fishbowl strike can be used as a recovery tool to get a little bit closer to the stage before using his up special. Ooh. This move. Hey, hold on. Of covering a hold on, that was hard. But keep in mind, you can only grab the ledge towards the end, so don't aim too high. In the event that your aim is slightly off, maybe try spending some of your slime meter to cancel the move and air dodge to safety. Oh, all right. Or better yet, if you're craving something a little more advanced, try canceling the move offensively into an air strong. Or even better, better yet. Cancel it into his down special, Chef Flip, and combo that into a finisher. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. SpongeBob is high key disrespectful with it. He he high key disrespectful with it, yo. Let me go on hit it. There we go. Immediately by jumping for those fancy looking combo extensions. And as a nice I'm not going to lie, the disrespect he just displayed to, to Patrick and Jimmy Neutron back to back was crazy. Like, hold on, like, look at, look at, look at this. Up. And then, bruh. Cancel it into his down special, Chef Flip, and combo boop. that into a finisher. If so now they got combo combos that's going to make people get sweaty in this game. Like it. If you land a hit with Chef Flip, you can cancel the move immediately by jumping for those fancy looking combo extensions. I'm not nice going to lie, he fucking them up. Uh, we can redirect projectiles. To find your sea legs, SpongeBob is a great place to start. Once you get comfortable with the game's mechanics and SpongeBob's own tools, all right, hold on. Imagination leads hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go. Let's go ahead and go here with All Star Brawl. So we're gonna go ahead and, and lower this volume a little bit. So this is the exclusive announcement trailer. We just watched the, the SpongeBob breakdown. SpongeBob's a little disrespect for some bitch. 
let's go ahead and see the actual exclusive announcement trailer. I don't know how I missed this, but let's watch it. Danny Phantom, yeah, Michelangelo, Leonardo. Yep, Reptar and his B. Nigel Thornberry just got his shit pushed in. Squidward old bitch ass. Fuck Squidward. Me and my niggas hate Squidward. Oh god. They really had a Squidward punk ass, bro. Hey, fuck Squidward, dog. Hey, Chad, y'all fuck with Squidward? I don't fuck with Squidward, man. I do not fuck with Squidward at all. Hey, yo, shout out to Frosty with the raid. Appreciate that, my guy. Right now, we're doing some reactions and whatnot. Oh, Rocco. Yes, sir. Ren and Stimpy. Oh, shit. They added... They added a... Uh, uh, I don't know if they... Did they have... They did have Jenny in the last one. They did have Jenny. That's a taunt. This is gonna make headlines, all right. So... For this game, they really made it like a like a full like it's already been a Smash clone, similar like to a Brawlhalla. Uh, what was it? Uh, what was the one that WB made? Y'all remember? I'm not even trying to be funny. I generally forgot the name of it, but like those type of games. But it seems like they have a more flat base that we're just catching the fade and not bouncing off too much stuff like how you was in the in the first one, which I can appreciate. I can actually appreciate that. And it looks like they're about to make this game like multiverses. Good looking. Yeah, it looks like this game about to be like super. It's going to be different. Like it's going to be more in depth than the last one. And I can appreciate that. Bop, bop, bop. All new brawler. Jimmy Neutron, old punk ass. That boy Jimmy pull it up. Ooh, that boy dripped out. Draped up, dripped out, no I'm talking about. Uh, show me some Jimmy. Show me some Jimmy. Yo. Yo. Get right. I ain't gonna lie, SpongeBob about to be OD. I could already see these people using SpongeBob like a motherfucker in this game. I'm playing this one to come out. I miss I miss the window for the last one. So trust and believe we gonna play this one, bro. We got we got to play this one to come out. I'm not pre-ordering it though. I can tell you that right now. Hey, man, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Don't forget to that like button, comment, and subscribe because we almost at that big 1K. Uh, I'm playing this. This looks dope as hell. It is also good to have a variety of games in your repertoire that you could go through whenever some of your favorite games is pissing you off. All right, I'm gone.